Mike Phillips, Thought of Geek, and with me is Jason Whiteley from Sonax. And I thought we'd just take a few minutes here, while I have Jason here as my guest, to talk about the basics of car detailing. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, I mean, some of the basics that we have are, you know, from washing to polishing to then protecting the paint afterwards, and that's what Mike and I are going to talk a little bit about today. Yeah. So the first thing when you get ready to detail a car, of course, is you want to wash the car, and the reason for this is to remove loose dirt and, of course, dry it when you're done. And that way your car is actually ready to do any type of detailing work to it. Correct. And I think one of the important things about our car wash and, and some of the other better car washes out there is when you use a car wash that's made for car washing, you're not removing any of the sealants or waxes that are already present on the paint, so you're not adding more work to washing the car. So a nice car wash will actually help in the process of making your paint look better. Yeah, and, and a couple tips for washing your car. If at all possible, never wash a car in full sun or direct sunlight because you know it's gonna, the sun's going to want to try to tend to dry up the, the soapy water on the paint. Mm -hmm. So try to wash in the shade early morning, late evening. Mm -hmm. And then typically you want to start at the top and work your way down and then wash panel by panel. And after you're finished washing a panel, then go ahead and rinse the soap suds off. Yeah. Then after that, dry it. And you want to use something soft like a microfiber drying towel, uh, a clean, soft uh, leather chamois, something that's gentle to the paint, but it'll get the water off to avoid water spots because you don't want to let the water just sit there on the paint. So the next step after washing the car is then inspecting the paint, correct? Yes. And what you're trying to do here when you inspect the paint is you're trying to evaluate the paint and to see if it has swirls, scratches, water spots, or oxidation. And these are typical types of paint defects that build up on the finish over time. And they can come from improper washing and drying techniques, uh, any kind of contamination that's in the rain or in the air that falls in the paint and builds up over time, or just from neglect. A lot of times we get busy, we don't take care of our car as much as we should, and oxidation builds up. Uh, so you're looking for these types of defects. And the way you want to do this is you want to use at least two good sources of light. So most people have good fluorescent lighting in their garage, and you can use that just like I have here. And a lot of times fluorescent lights will reveal things like water spots, swirls and scratches to your eyes, really make it easy to see what's going on at the surface level. Another way is using bright overhead sunshine. And bright overhead sunshine will really reveal if you've got a swirl or scratch problem. They'll just, they'll, it'll highlight them. And it's these types of defects that if you want to, you could just wax over them. Mm -hmm. But for most of us that are into our cars or what you call a car guy or a car girl, we're gonna wanna take and perfect that paint. And that's where compounds and polishes come into the play. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna use these to remove those types of defects. Can you tell us, what's this first part we got here, Jason? Well, this is the uh, Sonex Cut Max cutting compound. So, if you have a car that's heavily damaged, a lot of rain spots, a lot of heavy swirls, you would use the Sonex uh, Cut Max cutting compound to actually remove those deep defects in the paint. Okay, and so this is a compound. This would be the most aggressive approach. So things like you had really serious or deep scratches, deep water spots. Then what would this product here be? That's a medium cut to a finishing polish. So yeah. it's, it's really what it is is a polish. So it will uh, remove some minor defects in the paint itself, but it also jewels out very nice to a nice high gloss. So I, I think the, the goal is, is if you're an enthusiast, you want to do your own detailing, you always want to start out with the least aggressive product to get the job done. Because by taking that approach, you can remove the defects, but you leave the most paint on the car, and that's important. Now, if you find out the least aggressive product, or this medium cut polish, won't remove the defects, you can always get more okay. aggressive, okay? Yeah, yeah. But as a good practice, it's always a great idea to start out with the least aggressive product. And something that can cause a little bit of confusion out there is compounds and polishes, especially in the Sonex line, after you use them, your paint's going to look amazing. It'll be glossy, shiny, the defects are gone, but that they're not, it's, the paint is not sealed yet. There's no wax protection in a compound or polish. That's where you have to come back and actually seal the surface. Right. And for that, Sonax offers a number of different options. Right, we do. So we have, um, there's a couple different categories, and I'll, I'll stick with just basic protection, but there's uh, a natural-based protection, which is the Carnuba based, which is the Sonex Carnuba Care paste wax. It's a traditional paste wax in a paste tub. And then there's the Sonex High Speed Wax. Both are Carnuba based. 
And, and a lot of people like a traditional wax, so that's an option Sonax provides, because everybody's different. And when you're using a traditional carnauba-based wax, the, the feature that most people like is how it imparts what we call a warm glow. Mm -hmm. So you get the protection, you know, you're gonna see the great water beating. Uh, it's gonna protect against uh, industrial fallout, acid rain, bug splatter, bird droppings. Mm -hmm. So you get the protection, but you get that high gloss warm glow that everybody loves about a traditional carnauba wax. So these are our carnauba options. What we also have are synthetic based or polymer options. And what these do is they, they do a lot of the same characteristics, uh, a lot, you know, the protection and the shine and everything. But what they, what they are based on is a longer lasting protection. So carnauba waxes, they typically don't last quite as long, six, you know, three to six to eight weeks or so. The polymer based, they last six weeks up to six months, like our Sonex Polymer Net Shield, it lasts six months. Yeah, and that's just because the chemist in the laboratory has complete control over how he's making that product, whereas a carnauba wax is based off a natural wax that grows outdoors. Right. So it's, and they and both protect. And they're German chemists too, so. German engineered they, ger chemistry, German some of the engineer. best in the world. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so that's the natural waxes, our carnauba wax products, these are the synthetic products. Then yeah. what's this last one you got down here? Well, the newest one we have is a uh, ceramic coating okay and it's the application goes on uh, kind of like a gel uh, and what you do is is spread it all over the car and uh, you'll get up to one year protection with the ceramic coating okay now I know that coatings are a little bit more finicky about how they're applied right. so a lot of times after you use a compound or a polish part of the mixture of a compound or polish is it has lubricating oils that lubricate the surface as the abrasives do their work so when you're done it looks good mm -hmm. but now you've got to get those polishing oils off Strip them in off. order right. for the coating to make a proper bond right so while the carnauba waxes and the synthetic sealants you could apply immediately after compounding and polishing. If you want to use a coating, there is that extra step of prepping the paint to accept the coating. Right. Yeah, you just want to prep the paint by using a simple alcohol wipe. Okay, so you can get isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, mm -hmm. at any drugstore and just wipe the finish down with that. Yep. And of course, if you need any more information, you can always contact Sonax and they can help you out with that. Right, right. Okay, so then that kind of covers everything. You wash the car mm -hmm. to get the, get, remove the loose dirt. You inspect the paint to see what kind of defects you have. And if you have a newer car, you might not even have any defects. You could go right to the carnauba wax, the synthetic paint sealant, or the coating. Right. But if you do have defects and you want to remove them, then you remove them with a compound or a polish. And then after that, you could go ahead and seal the paint to protect it. Right. And after that, it's ready to take that car for a drive, isn't it? It is, yeah. Show it off. Enjoy it. Okay, and that's, that's kind of the, the detailing 101, the real kind of the simple version of how these different products work when you're detailing your car.